News from the local factories. From the Mitcham News and Mercury, the 10th of February 1961. News last week that Britain and Europe may plan a joint space exploration program using the Blue Streak long-range missile has been welcomed by a Mitchum firm, Morfax Limited. The Willow Lane factory is behind the construction of the launching platform of the British-made Blue Streak, as well as some components of the rocket itself. The platform, built to such fine tolerances that it is a remarkable engineering achievement, is the key piece of equipment in rocket launching. The slightest inaccuracy can affect the performance of the rocket. More facts have constructed the 70-ton platforms to withstand extreme shock loading and temperature. An important feature are mechanical fingers, which grasp the rocket and release it at the moment of firing. Morfax, whose 450 employees do considerable work for Britain's aircraft industry, are also busy in producing various radar height finders and location scanners and equipment. An extension to their Willow Lane premises is already 60% completed. London's tallest building, the 33-storey office block being built at Millbank, will embody enamelled architectural steel panels made by Stuart & Gray, Swains Road, Tooting Junction. The factory has now geared its works mainly to the production of enamelled architectural panels. A recent project was the new quarter-mile-long Ilford factory at Basildon which incorporates 35,000 square feet of bright yellow porcelain enamelled panels. Among customers of their large export business are Scandinavia, India, Jamaica, Persia, and Hong Kong. Latest creation in fiberglass by Microplast Limited, Western Road, are two 2,000 gallon storage tanks for Vinyl Products Limited, Carshalton. They are 9 feet in diameter and 5 feet across and will hold 6 tons of liquid. For extra strength, the tanks are bound with special continuous filament fiberglass. Microplast also make plastic boat shells and are at present negotiating for a big order from Sweden. A new extension to Pi Group Records Limited, Western Road, Mitcham, is expected to increase their production by 50%. There will be a further 26 record presses bringing the total to 66. With the new development they hope to beat last year's figure of over 5 million copies. Meanwhile Petula Clark's disc, Sailor, is still going strong now topping 250,000 copies. New releases are Emile Ford with, What Am I Going To Do? and Lonnie Donegan singing, Leave My Woman Alone.